Hello. Burundi is on the edge of civil war if peace talks ending violence and unrest in the country don't start immediately. Now that's what the United Nations Special Envoy for the Great Lakes region of Africa believes. Speaking to Vox News, Thomas Perriello said action needed to be taken quickly to end the violence which has continued since President Pierre Nkurunziza won a presidential election, giving him a third term in office. Something critics and protesters say was unconstitutional. He's now given a deadline for tomorrow for illegal firearms to be given or protesters would face serious consequences. But speaking to me earlier, Mr. Perriello said there was still a chance for peace. Well, obviously the situation in Burundi has been deteriorating for some time, but recent moves, including President Nkurunziza setting a five-day ultimatum and some of the most incendiary language we've heard yet from senior government officials about exterminating and pulverizing those not worthy to live. Uh, these are things that push a country closer to civil war, and we see the opposition responding in the dark of night, sending grenades at police officers. We need leaders on both sides to pull back from that brink, get to Kampala for peace talks, and prevent the situation from going uh, into an even more dangerous direction. What, what do you think needs to be done to actually bring calm um, to the country? Well, there's been agreement really in the country and across the region for some time, and the African Union has been clear about this. It must be peace talks that include stakeholders on all sides. It must be leaders on all sides uh, decrying violence. Um, President Museveni has specifically been asked by the UN Security Council and the African Union uh, to begin these talks. Um, and it's incumbent, particularly on the government of Burundi, but also opposition leaders, uh, to say now is the time to pull back from violence and get to the peace talks, not the time to be setting ultimatums, using more incendiary language that harrows back to some of the worst periods uh, in this region. Um, and there is still time. Up until a year ago, Burundi was actually a success story of post-ethnic reconciliation, of economic development. And we've seen certain institutions like the military hold strong, um, but those issues are fraying, and we need those leaders not to be pushing people closer to war, but closer to peace. If indeed people do not come forward with this gun amnesty and, and hand over their firearms, and in currency that does not agree to take part in a, any kind of peace talks, what, what do you think could happen then? Well, unfortunately, we don't have to work too hard to imagine it because we've seen in the past what can happen when these countries devolve into civil war. Um, and the biggest losers of that are the people themselves uh, caught in the crossfire. Um, but we're not there yet. There is still a window, no matter how narrow, um, for this not to escalate into full uh, mass violence and pull back and, and find that political solution. Uh, we know that there's a real possibility that it goes uh, in, in a much uh, scarier and, and more fatal direction, but we're not past the point of no return. 